These are the components I'm going to use for my CNC control box. I'm going to be running three axes to start off with. Uh, these are for my CNC uh, mill, my SIG X2. Um, I've got 425 ounce stepper motors that I picked up from Long's Motors. Um, I've heard uh, some things about this company. Um, everything seems to be okay uh, once we get them running and uh, figured out. I will do an update on how well they're working out. I've got three of the drivers. These are I mean, these are DM542A stepper motor drivers. We have our 25 pin uh, breakout board. Comes with a uh, picked up a 36 volt power supply, and I also picked up a 5 volt. 12 volt combination power supply. Uh, the reason being is I'm going to run these cooling fans which are 12 volt. So I wanted to have 5 volts to power um, for my breakout board and also have power for fans. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I've got my control box which I made out of just some particle board um, and I've covered it with some aluminum tape actually my daughter covered it for me uh, she did a very good job uh, I've got these these are just uh, push panels for doors that I picked up um, for pushing upward doors in commercial buildings and stuff and I've cut them out uh, using the mill and I'm going to have our fans behind these like so with the grill on the front and then I've got an illuminated power switch and an e-stop I think I'm going to wire the e-stop up just to power off the servos and the driver uh, excuse me the steppers and the drivers and I think um, the main power will still be, I'll, I'll leave that on. I also picked out this uh, outlet plug. Instead of just wiring it straight into the back, I picked up this plug. Uh, also has a power switch on it. It's kind of redundant, but it, it is fused, so that's a good thing. Uh, also, I'm going to have another fan. going to have another fan in the back. Uh, my holes for my uh, aviation plugs, my two pin plugs will be here for the home switches and my slot for my DB25 breakout board and then these are going to be the aviation plugs for the four pin for the motors. Um, so we're going to get it all together and we'll see how it turns out. Uh, here's my DB25 pin connector to hook up the computer and once we get this all wired up uh, Hopefully we, we can get these stepper motors running. All right, so this is my uh, Control box for my SIG uh, CNC build um, I just wanted to finally got it wired up and uh, just wanted to kind of show the um, the box, this is the front. Um, we've got our uh, e-stop, uh, a cooling fan, and our main power switch. And this, bo this box, I just built it out of uh, some MDF and covered it with some uh, aluminum tape. Let's see, the back, we have... Uh, I don't, I, I, although uh, I was going to add another fan, but right now I just have um, a filter on here. Uh, I may add another fan later. I've got my main power. Uh, the switch here, I decided not to uh, connect the switch. Uh, I got the main power switch in front, and I didn't really, 
feel like I needed this one also. It was kind of redundant. Uh, there is a fuse here inside this outlet, um, and it does have a fuse in there. I put a 5 amp fuse in there. Uh, the 36 volt power supply draws uh, is rated at 7, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I got my DB25 pin connector and my home switches. These are uh, two pin aviation plugs. And um, I've got my X, Y, Z, and also a fourth axis um, that I plan on putting in at some point. Uh, here are my four pin aviation plugs for my stepper motors. Again, I got X, Y, Z, and my A axis. And, uh, and then for the inside, I've got uh, my five 12 volt power supply. Um, I just went ahead and ordered a five and 12 volt power supply. It's a dual power supply because my fan runs off of a 12 volts and the breakout board is going to run off of five volts and I wanted to have uh, room in the box so it was just more convenient. Over here we have our 36 volt power supply. Uh, it has a, I don't know if you can see it there, but it has a cooling fan on it as well. Um, and then we have our ste uh, stepper motor drivers. We have our X axis, our Y, and our Z. And I have room here to add an A axis. Um, and you can see I wired up my aviation plugs and they come over to the uh, stepper motor driver card. Uh, you have your uh, A minus, A plus, B minus, P plus, uh, A plus, A minus, B plus, B minus, and then you have a your 36 volt positive and negative right here so those six wires are for your stepper motors fairly simple to um, wire up it seems daunting at first because if you look there's there's quite a bit of wires in here but if you just take it one at a time uh, it's really fairly simple I put terminal strips here uh, and split my I don't know if you can see but I split my um, 12 volt and the blue is the uh, 5 volt. Now this 5 volt goes up to each driver. Uh, it's recommended that you run each driver and not daisy chain them together so I did that um, because I had the terminal strip. So I have the 3 there and then uh, the, my brown here is my 12 volts going to my fan and then over here I have my 36 volt and I labeled everything just to make it neat. Uh, the red is the positive and the white is the negative for my 36 volt. And then I have my breakout board. Uh, the red pins here you see is the red pins are your um, pulse or step. Pulse and step are the same, uh, same thing. Uh, your pulse and direction so I have pulse negative and direction and then the positive is over here your 5 volts over here and coming from the 5 volt power supply so the 5 volts comes in here and also your common and then your step and direction for each axis right here with room for one more on this particular board and then over here, you have um, pin 10 is your e-stop line. Of course, common is the black wire here. And then pin 10 is your e-stop line. And then pin 13, uh, 12, and 11 are your three axis home switches. And I just tied the commons together here. And then ran the other side over to the pin out. So that's basically uh, how the control box is wired up. 
Um, of course, I labeled everything just to make sure I knew um, where it was. And for the motors, I used this cable that I am going to run out to the motors just to keep all that together and nice and neat in the box. Okay, so I've got the stepper motors hooked up and also got the uh, limit switches hooked up. Um, I decided to go ahead and solder these and then put some heat shrink around them. Uh, most people just use spade type connectors, but I like to have it soldered. Uh, so we have our uh, X, Y, and Z stepper motors. And they're all connected with the aviation plugs um, in the back. Uh, a quick look in the box. You can hear the fan running. Um, the stepper, the stepper drivers stay pretty cool. Uh, the fan is uh, blowing directly on them, so um, they're actually staying fairly cool. Just running some uh, simulated programs. Um, the 36 volt power supply fan is on and everything seems to be working good. Uh, one note, if you have your Long's Motors stepper drivers uh, correct, correctly wired, you'll have a green light. There's also a red LED, but the green light should be on. Um, these are the Long's Motors uh, DM. 542A. Uh, so there's the control box. Um, got Mach 3 connected. Uh, running Mach 3, and this is just a, um, a skull and crossbones. It's a uh, G code that's already on. It comes with Mach 3. So we're just going to run it. Go to uh, cycle start. Uh, let's hit reset. Okay, and that's cleared. Notice if you hit the E stop, you'll get emergency mode active, and it'll say external E stop requested, and you can you can't clear it. So if we release the E stop. Then we can clear it, and it can go up and do the cycle start, and it'll run through the G code. And as you can see, it's moving. And hopefully, I'll get this connected to the mill uh, and it goes pretty, through the code pretty fast uh, hopefully I'll get this connected to the mill in um, next week or so um, another thing to note is I had the stepper motor set up for um, full voltage um, but I backed it down a little bit because they seem to be getting hot um, I know that this is normal but I don't know how hot is normal, so better to be safe than sorry. I just went ahead and backed them down for now, and uh, we'll see how that goes. You know, when I first started to do this, I thought that, you know, wiring this up and, and getting everything running was going to be um, a challenge and kind of a daunting task but if you just take it one step at a time it seems to go fairly smoothly I did have one hang up uh, notice on the keyboard there is a up and down arrow and a left and right arrow um, those are to jog your X and your Y axis and then you have your page up and page down for your Z when I first set it up I was able to jog my uh, z-axis using the page up and page down buttons but somehow the arrows over on the number control pad uh, they don't work for your 
Y and Z. Once I figured out I had these other buttons here, uh, they did jog. So that was about a 20 minute delay trying to figure out why I had the settings wrong, which I didn't. I was just using the wrong keys. So lesson learned and uh, hopefully that will prevent somebody from making the same mistake as I did. Now it's working on the mouth. Seems to work fairly well. I'm real excited. Hopefully I can uh, get it get it connected um, in the next week or two to the mill. I uh, still have to machine some, some for the z-axis. I may go ahead and hook the x and y axis up and let Mach 3 machine the uh, z-axis for me. Um, that'll be a good test. So, thanks for watching the videos. Um, if you have any questions, I know that Long's motors um, are uh, fairly new and they're fairly inexpensive. Um, you can find them on eBay. I got these from uh, off eBay, and uh, if um, you're not sure how to wire them up or anything, uh, I'll try to post some links uh, to some documentation uh, in this video.